Jeez, what happened? Your steering shaft came apart? Uh, anybody got some rod? I got some cables. Hey guys, it's Kevin with Hills Angels 4x4 and today we're going to be checking out the Lago Messino Petroglyphs. We're going to count this as officially 35 rigs, so, so far it's the most attended Hells Angels Club trail run of all time. So far, 35 rigs at staging, and uh, the Petroglyphs parking area is a little bit tight. We'll probably have to take turns. We're going to do our quick morning meeting and uh, comms check and uh, safety, and we'll get out of here. side and the, the theories or the stories behind what what they were for what who put them there but Basque uh, sheep herders uh, use them to kind of help corral their sheep I didn't get any video of it lower uh, lower in the trail but um, there's another uh, full-blown set of buildings uh, it's actually just technically below the uh, waste management uh, landfill for the moment we're kind of moving pretty quick we've kind of passed through a lot of the big technical stuff um, and we're going to stop up here and take a break catch up with the other group and then uh, regroup and keep on going to see the petroglyphs so we got everybody stopped caught back up between me filming and changing cameras and doing the 360 which you guys saw in the video a minute ago the 360 view plus uh, a little GoPro action and whatnot um, we finally caught up to everybody we got about 36 rigs here right now between <laughs> about a about 200 yards of trail I'm gonna walk out a little ways so you guys can see the amount of vehicles we have right now Got some uh, puppies out here stretching their legs, chasing balls and sticks and all that fun stuff. Um, we got everybody taking a quick little break. We all kind of caught up with each other. We're going to go check out the petroglyphs here. We're only a couple miles away from that. And uh, really excited to check those out myself. So why don't you guys join us? Best is yet to come.
just now pulling up to the. Go, go, go. <laughs> go slow. We're just now pulling up to the uh, gated gated entrance to the Petroglyph. So I guess we're gonna try to stack all 38 of us now into this little spot. So super fun. Pretty freaking cool. These petroglyphs are estimated to be about 10,000 years old. Some of the oldest known petroglyphs in North America. So pretty stinking cool. Uh, I think this is as good a time as any to ask you guys if you like this video, feel free to uh, subscribe to our channel. I try to make videos for you guys of the trail runs that we do and uh, just show people that uh, might want to check out the trail, um, you know, what the trail's like or what uh, what there is to see. Even better, come and join us on Facebook, come and join us on a trail run and the meetings that we got going on. Uh, we got some really fun stuff planned the rest of this year and uh, would really love to have you guys come out with us on the next trail run. Obviously we had almost 40 vehicles on this trail, so we're going to finish up some lunch and get back on the trail. We're going to head out towards Laos Town Road and uh, end up towards Virginia City and head back into Reno. <music> Geez, what happened? My steering shaft came apart. Your steering shaft came apart? Yeah. Jeez. Oh, separated here. Like. Like bad. It was welded and it's broken. Uh, anybody got some rod? I got some cables. So we trail weld this last time. That's why it's so broken. We, we need to trail weld it because you never fix it when you because I didn't pull it out and I was like, oh, it's got to be good enough. <laughs> Caltrans or what? Stand around watching two guys work. Do they, uh, we need supervisors. Supervisors. Well, it's that's not Toyota problem, that's the problem. Right? <laughs> Let's get that straight. <laughs> Safety third, right? Yeah, one lead goes to the battery, one one lead goes to the stinger. No, Justin, one one lead goes to the battery. So do the, the two up there. That's what I thought. Yeah. And so your red is gonna to go to the negative here. And then the black your your positive is gonna to go to the other side of that one. Yeah, and then your welding. So you're not gonna use both legs of that. You're not gonna use both legs of that other one. So then you need to Oh well, let's find out. Well I'm no, I don't no, wanna no, blow no, your no. batteries up. <laughs> I've seen batteries explode. Oh yeah, you're right. There you go. There, there we go. We're, we're good now. Anyone good at welding? Dude, you just need to stick two pieces of metal together. It only wakes you up. Bolts don't kill amps, do you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're only we're only playing with what? A couple thousand right now? <laughs> there it goes. So this is how you weld without a welder. Yep. Basically. <laughs> it's it's basically a rudimentary arc welder is what we're doing. There we go. All right, kids, what did we learn? We learned that you <laughs> gotta find scrap cards out of the pieces. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that's, that's good about doing this Oops. is 
we're so close to home that it's not like the end of the world we gotta tow him home. Right. But at the same time, like we're finding the weak points. Like Jesse's finding weak points left and right on his rig and he's able to fix them close to home with a large enough group that we have the collective ability and tools and materials and know-how know to make it happen. So this is the whole point of coming out here and doing these runs. Yeah, it sucks that he broke his truck, but nobody got hurt, nothing's wrong. Hey, fixed it. Yes, <laughs> I'm still gonna return them. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> Don't touch the welds, Kevin. You're a puppy? Yeah. Wheel turd. Oh, looks about as good as what got him out here. So we're thinking. That's the goal, right? From the sounds of things, it ought to get him out and then some. I think we fixed it too good. He's, it's going to be three or four more trail runs before he fixes it now. <laughs> Let's go. Maybe I won't <laughs> drive straight into a bush. <laughs> <laughs>